大家好，我们今天讨论风水。大家好，我们今天讨论风水。Ang araw sa inyo ang mga ka-RF and Texas at sa iyo DJ Tans na master. Ginamit ko ang wikang Mandarin Chinese sa aking pambungan na pagbati sa inyo ang mga ika. Di pa, Madam DJ Tans, ang Mandarin Chinese ang may pinakamaraming native speakers all over the world. Diba, we have already tackled twice about Mandarin Chinese sa mga previous segments natin dito sa RFN Texas. Mga Egan, beloved listeners ng RFN Texas ni Madam DJ Tess. Ang sinabi ko mga ka-RFN ay Hello everyone! Today, We will discuss Feng Shui. So Chinese, 大家好，我们今天讨论风水。So normal speech, 大家好，我们今天讨论风水。Oh, 没错。Na-intimidate pa kayo, ha, mga ka-RFN? Parang chok-chok-chok-chok-chok lang, no, ha? <laughs> okay, mga ikan. Ang ta-jia ay, ang ibig sabihin ay, ng ta-jia ay everyone. Ang how, alam na natin lahat, diba? Yun ay good. Pero in this case, it is a shortened form of ni how. Ha? Galing ito sa ni how for hello. Kaya, ta-jia how is hello everyone. I hope naririkaw mo pa rin yung four tomes sa Mandarin Chinese, amiga. Yung first tome, to refresh your mind, Madam DJ Tess, yung first tone ay yung pa-sweet na tone. Gaya nito, Tess. Yung second tone ay nag-i-inarting tone gaya ng tess. Hmm, maarte siya. Ang third tone naman ay yung parang may pagdududa na tone gaya ng tess. Tumataas yung kaliwang kilay na sa third floor. Tess. And lastly, ang fourth tone ay yung slightly nagalit. Pero hindi naman. Parang slight first tone. And shui. Ano yan, kumare? Shui. Kaya ba? Pailalim. Pailalim tumira. Try dora. Shui. Nagdududa. Nakataas ang kaliwang kilay. Nasa third floor. Shui. Wow. Ayan. Nasa third tone. Amiga, mga ka-RFN. Ang ibig sabihin ng feng sa Mandarin Chinese ay, take note, ito ay wind, ha? hangin. At ang shui naman, shui ay water, ha? tubig mga ka-RF and. Yes, oh, it reminds me of something, madam. <coughs> okay. Pronounce with the first tone, ha? Ang... In, hmm? and then yung yang naman ay pronounced with the second tone. Yang, all together. In, yang. Ayan, okay. Ang yin yang ay very important sa feng shui or sa feng shui. Yin and yang are two halves that together complete wholeness. So, hindi buo ha, mga igan, pag absent ang isa sa kanila. They go hand in hand together. Ah. 
ang balance between yin and yang, mga ka-artist fan, is very much felt sa Chinese healing practices or yung tinatalong na Chinese traditional medicine. An excess of yang, uh, according to Chinese uh, medicine, uh, can result in fever. Yung sobrang yin naman, yung sobrang yin energy, could mean the accumulation of fluids in the body. So, mapansin nyo ang yang ay sa heat, no? At ang yin ay sa cold. O, kung, kung kayo ay minamanas, mga karapin, mas malakas ang yin energy sa katawan nyo. O, yung may mga sobrang lamig o hangin sa katawan, Labis-labis daw ang yin energy sa body. So, uh, from this, we can define yin as representing cold and yang representing heat. So, kita nyo yung dualism mga igan ha? Cold and heat, light and dark, male and female, positive and negative, and so on and so forth. As I have already mentioned, Feng Shui came about to seek to balance the imbalance between yin and yang. In ulit ko mga ikan, ang chi ay isang universal energy na kung saan nakapaloob ang yin yang. Ang main goal or objective ng Feng Shui mga ikan is to attract, direct, and nourish the flow of Qi inside our homes and inside our bodies as well. Hindi lang naman kasi sa arrangement ng uh, structures or objects, ginagamit ang Feng Shui sa katawan din ng tao mga ka-RFM. As I have pointed out earlier regarding the balance of yin yang, Alam mo ba, Madam DJ Tess, na ang Feng Shui pala was devised to, to determine, ha, kung walang blockages sa flow of Qi in our houses and, and in our bodies. In the case of our houses, dapat ang flow ng Qi ay walang obstruction or blockages and uh, wala din nasasayang na energy. Dapat kasi uh, nagsisirculate ang positive energy sa bahay to continually benefit yung good luck. Ha? Paano ba may iwasan yung blockages na ito? Ayon sa Feng Shui, it is, advisab it is advisable that your main door should not be uh, directly aligned sa back door ng bahay. Uh, parehong effect din kapag nakaharap ang main door sa bintana, ha? Mga igan, especially if malaki yung window, so hindi sila dapat uh, magkatapat. Uh, that is an example of waste or loss of chi sa bahay. Hindi umiikot ang chi, gawa ng uh, nag-exit agad dito sa back door. Kaharap kasi ng main or entrance door ang back door kaya may wastage of energy or may blockage ng chi kapag pinuksan mo yung main door ay uh, may pader o wall naman na nakaharap sa pagpasok mo sa bahay sa pagpasok mo pala sa bahay ha nakaharap na sa pader o wall that is uh, an example of blockage din so, uh, alam mo kasi yung wall na malapit sa entrance, entrance ay hindi uh, maganda yun uh, ang effect according sa Feng Shui. Uh, I repeat, it is a case of blockage of energy. Yung isang amiga ko kumari ha, ang main door niya ay directly nakaharap sa comfort room niya. Yung main door ng bahay niya kasi kumari ay uh, directly uh, tinatama ng sikat ng araw sa so, napakaswerte ng aking amiga na yun. Siyempre, 
uh, where the sun rises in the morning, mas magiging araw na tamaan ng direct sunlight ang ating bahay. Especially if no, yung main door natin is facing the east. Ang ginawa niya, tinabingan niya ng bonggang-bonggang kurtina na kulay green para daw mas ma-amplify yung luck or good fortune. At kaya ayun, yung, amiga, yung am aking amiga, kumare, ay nako, babad na babad sa CR. Kasi daw feeling refreshed and energized ang uh, babaitang ito ang aking friend every time na siya ay naglalagi o nag sa CR ng bahay nila kaya minsan nga daw sa loob na siya ng CR na iidlip ko mga amiga hindi <laughs> kalit talagang aking amiga na yun <laughs> so dapat ay open space like uh, sa living room Uh, tapos yung back door or window o wall ay hindi nakatapat sa main door mga ka-RFN huwag mamanifest din daw kasi ang bad flow of chi sa bahay sa mga katawan natin kasi nga naman we spend most of our times at home diba? so when the chi is blocked or wasted one cannot sustain a good quality life according to feng shui mga igan na sa feng shui ay may tinatawag na kuwa number kuwa k-u-a kuwa number ang kuwa number ay yung lucky number ng isang tao based on one's birthday and gender kung alam mo ang kuwa number mo DJ Tess malalaman mo kung anong um, direksyon ang swerte para sa iyo. Ano ba yung for core uh, main um, natin? Uh, direction, di ba? Yung north, south, east, and west. Huh? Oh, for example, if you are a female with a kuwa number 2, your auspicious or lucky direction according to feng shui is the east, huh? towards the east. Kung lalaki ka naman, your lucky Uh, direction is towards the west ha? opposite so how do we compute our feng shui kuwa numbers ayan interesting mga kaibigan mga ka una una be sure to check your year of birth according to the chinese calendar The Chinese New Year starts on a different day each year. So, if you were born in January or February, your year of birth might be different from what you think, huh? Okay. Before you calculate your Google number, pay attention to two things. The Kuwa number calculations for a female are different from the Kuwa number calculations for a male. For those born after the year 2000, the Kuwa number calculations are slightly different. For example naman, yung mga born before the year 2000, ha? Kuwa number calculation for a female, okay, before the year 2000. What you should do is, Add the last two numbers of your year of birth and bring it to a single digit. Okay? Add your single digit to number 5. Bring the number to a single digit also, if needed. So, that is your kuwa number. So, easy lang ha, pagkapag uh, pinanganak before the year 2000. Okay? Understood? Yun. O, oh, ulitin natin. I-add mo lang daw yung last two numbers, ha? Yung year uh, ng uh, pagkakabanganakan mo hanggang ito ay maging one digit lang. Okay? Yung one digit na yon i-add mo sa five. Di ba? That's how simple it is. That is calculation for uh, female, ha? Ngayon, 
if for example naman is pinanganak na yung female na to after the year 2000 instead of uh, 5 ang i-add ay 6 yun lang ang difference okay got it mm, you have to be accurate o paano naman sa male hmm? pag lalaki naman na ipinanganak before the year 2000 the same thing Kaya add pa rin yung last two numbers ng taon ng kapanganakan at bring it to a single digit. Okay. Yung single digit na yun ay bawasan ng 10. Okay? Then that is the kuwa number for a male. Huh? Ulitin ko ba mga ikan? Kaya add yung last two digits ng year of birth hanggang sa maging one number na lang or single digit na lang. And then, yung uh, number na yun ay i-deduct mo sa 10. Okay, so that is the kuwa number for males. O, pag ipinanak naman yung uh, male after the year 2000, instead na i-deduct sa 10, i-deduct daw ito sa 9, ha? For example, a male born in 2009 and 2018, uh, we'll have uh, Kua number 9 huh? Eh yung Kua number naman ng babae Na pinanganak noong 1998 Sample to ah Sample calculation And the last two digits ha ah, Diba 98 So 9 plus 8 equals 17 then, you add mo ulit hanggang sa maging 1 number, 1 plus 7 equals 8. Huh? So, yung 8, i-add mo siya sa 5 hanggang sa maging 13. Huh? So, yun yung sum, 13. And then, kailangan maging 1 digit lang yung 13, i-add mo lang yung 1 plus 3 equals 4. So, a female born in 1998 has the kuwa number 4. Klaro ba, mga igan? O, sa male naman. Okay, a kuwa number, a kuwa number calculations for a male born in 1965. We add mo lang yung 6 plus 5 equals 11. So, 2 digits yung 11, gawin mo siyang single digit, 1 plus 1 equals 2. And then, itidak mo yung 2 sa 10. Okay, 10 minus 2 equals 8. So, a male born in 1965 has the Kua number 8. Okay. So, uh, sa feng shui, uh, you are either an east or a west group uh, person. Like, dalawang group kasi yan, east and west. Once you know your Kua number, you can easily find out your uh, feng shui group. Okay. Ikaw daw ay kabilang sa East Group if your kuwa number is 1, 3, 4, and 9. You belong to the West Group naman if your kuwa number is 2, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Get Ching, East Group. Ang kuwa number sa East Group, ha? kuwa numbers are 1, 3, 4, 9. Sa so West Group, the, num the kuwa numbers are 2, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. yung kuwa number mo you can improve daw your ano, your good fortune ha, yung flow of chi uh, you can position your bed sa direction na mas uh, fortunate or lucky ha? so if you are an east person so yung ano mo, yung head mo ay naka point towards the east okay mas maganda daw ang um, flow ng chi sa katawan mo. Okay, pag sa work naman, uh, you can rearrange your desk na 
mag-face siya sa iyong lucky direction. And then, um, if you are looking to buy a new house naman, uh, you can uh, check if the direction of the front door is good for you. Mm -hmm. So, if you are an east person, yung main door mo ay dapat nakaharap sa east. Ha? So, if you are a west group, if you belong to the west group, yung house, your uh, front door, or the front door of your house, ay dapat naka-face sa west. Yan. Diba? Very uh, interesting, no? Na may mga ganong kuwa-kuwa number sa feng shui. Mas uh, specific, no? Nasizero in natin yung flow of chi na magbibigay sa atin ng uh, luck and good fortune and uh, vitality sa health natin, ha? Oh, mga ka RFN, I hope we will be better aligned sa flow of chi or universal energy and reap the benefits of an abundant and healthy life after applying our respective uh, feng shui kuwa numbers. Siyempre, if you want additional information on feng shui, there are so many resources that can be found in Google. Di ba, Madam DJ Tans? Oh, ang daming mga magagandang material sa internet. Ako na si uh, Madam Blavatsky, Buda de Gucci, and your enchantress na si Madam DJ Tess are hoping that we all live a good and well-balanced life. A life filled with prosperity and abundance and a healthy one as well. In Chinese, a popular good luck wish for someone is Juni Hao Yin. I repeat, Juni Hao Yin. In common rate of speech, Juni Hao Yin. Ang ibig sabihin ng Ju, which is a four tone, I wish. Ju, that's a four tone, ha? Wish, ang ibig sabihin ng Jew. Ni ay, of course, alam na natin, you. Third tone, ni. And then yung how, kilalang kilala natin itong word na to, nasa third tone siya, which is um, good. And then the last uh, word, which is a new one for us, yung yun. Uh, nasa fourth tone, this means luck, uh, yun. Juni Hao Yin To all of you, our dear RF and Texas avid listeners and followers, Juni Hao Yin Our finale music is for bringing money and luck. Enjoy the music, Juni Hao Yin Sai Chen Goodbye everyone. Bye. Bye.